Hey! Hi everyone! How are you doing? Ow, you're on my nuts! Stop. Hello! <laughs> we haven't done a live stream on YouTube in a while. Hi! Hello! It's good to see everyone. The last time we did a YouTube live stream, man, Chief just squished the heck out of my, my my left thing down there. Not the middle one though. The middle one's okay. Hello everyone! Be Shane Dawson with your dog. I did not. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this this stream monetized. I'm not gonna do the. I'm not gonna say it. Hey, abortion survivor. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, I haven't done a YouTube stream in a while. I've been saving up tons of articles all week to do. Hey, Caden, thank you. Right off the gate. I'm, I'm glad you're here, son. Uh, saved up a lot of articles that I was going to make a big little recap on, and I was just sitting here and was about to go on Twitch and said, hey, I haven't been on YouTube in a while. I haven't done a stream on YouTube. So, here I am. Diamonds kicking indoors? I miss that the most. <clears throat> How's everybody's day? It's really hard to read the YouTube chat, I'll, I'll tell you that, because it's, it, it, like, on Twitch, there's not many people, we, well, I don't want to say not many, we get about a thousand people in there, but the chat still moves at a rate where I can see it. The chat, I'm looking at chat on here, it's going page by page, like, I, I rarely have time to read anything. Thank you so much for everyone who has already given Super Chats and the new members. Lord have mercy. Uh, we're just going to go over some funny news stuff. It's a live Leo recap. I know a lot of people don't appreciate these very much because they're usually long and drawn out. A lot of people like the information up front. Uh, you know, just quick, quick, quick information done. And that's all the Leo recap. But we don't do these very often. So it's, it's fun to get on here and hang out. Stream looks like it's changing between clean and slightly lower quality. That's not my fault. <clears throat> Better make money now, don't I? I give it a four days. What? <laughs> Killbox, you're awesome. Thank you. Excited to see me live? Well, you should watch Twitch. I'm on Twitch like three or four times a week. It's usually late, but I'm live. Hunter, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You love my vids, Jen. I love you. Vicious. Wait, who's that? Who said that? Somebody said the P word. Devota. Voda. Speaking of Voda, I need to pick some new sounds. I've had the Voda button on my stream deck for a while now. Do you like my thumbnail? I, I was going to stream at 9, but I came up with an idea for a thumbnail, and it took me an hour to make that because I suck with Photoshop. <laughs> hey, happy crowd! Thanks, man! And Mason, thank you so much, dude. You guys are just super chatting my wiener off tonight. Thank you. Shut up and take my money, but keep talking. Talking, your voice is almost as good as your mustache. I can do the radio announcer voice tonight. The video voice. What I do in the Navy? <laughs> Dudes. <laughs> right, right, squid. <laughs> Squids are, are like that. I uh, was an avionic electronic technician, and then I tried to do cool guy stuff and hurt my back, and it didn't work out. Oh, man. Can I do Louis? Have you guys seen that uh, Florida Man was trending on Twitter today? And, and... And I was, wasn't a part of it. <laughs> it's a pretty cool. Hey, Valk. Hi and bye. 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 Hey, Shane. What's up, buddy? Did <laughs> do you Shane Dawson your cat? No, I Shane Dawson my dog. Right, Jeeves. Right, come here, Jeeves. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Squids represent. That's right. It's it's not gay if you're underway. Everybody remember that. Welcome, Girthy Shaft! Oh, someone just joined and their name is Girthy Shaft. That's funny. <laughs> Hello. Alright, alright, get out, get out. I got I got work to do, boy. You thought I was a master at arms? I did auxiliary security for a year. That was that I worked, I was basically a master at arms. Oh my god, being neighbor knows my name. Anyways, um, so the challenge on Twitter today, god damn the music's loud, hold on a second guys, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. The challenge on Twitter today was you search for Florida Man and then your birthday and you tell everyone what your 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 headline is. Mine was um, Florida Man arrested for giving girlfriend wet willy, September 3rd. Am I subbed to PewDiePie? No I'm not. <laughs> I don't think, I, I haven't been for a long time. Sorry, Sorry everyone, I know that's sacrilege on YouTube. 
Can I have your arms? You can mill them. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. I like Ron Swanson. Thank you. Okay, moving along. Let's do the, let's do the recap now. What we're five minutes in, there hasn't been a recap. Jesus Christ. So, do Sovereign Citizen Bingo live on YouTube? How about we do that sometime next week? I'll plan for it. We'll try to get a special guest on. How old am I? I'm 31. Jeeves, do not touch the power strip. Bow, bow. Talking about the Oroville, California shoot. I haven't heard of that one yet. Angry, cop Angry cops can't do Sovereign Citizen Bingo. We talked about this. Hey, Commissioner... Shit. Commissioner... Ivanovich, love your content, comrade. Continue to channel for the revolution. Oh, you, you used to give me a lot of super chats when I used to stream on YouTube a lot. Um, You can see my cat's tail in the background. Coin! Hey, don't I love your channel? Tired of the Navy. I have absolute respect. Send me a challenge coin? Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, uh, Goin and Kyle. Thank you so much. You watched a bunch of my Pen vs. Mims videos? Awesome, awesome. Um... I've got a big case law video coming out soon. It's just taking me a long time because I'm using my super sweet, awesome, uh, high-tech crime scene recreation software. <sighs> I know, that's cute. Bring my sidekick, Patty Mayo. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's 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 actually do the recap. You guys want to do the recap now? We can do that. We can do the recap now. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check one thing. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, my God. We got a lot of people in here. Lord have mercy. What are you guys doing? Why can't Angry Cops play bingo? Because he can't. Can you take my word for that? That's why I miss him. I still I still keep this, though. Right beside me. I keep that right beside me. At all times. Because I miss him so much. Alright. How's Wine's back? Uh, she's not doing so good. She's streaming right now, if anybody's interested in, in seeing my, my sister, cousin, niece, aunt, babysitter. At twitch.tv slash wineop, W-I-N-E-O-P. Like, don't an operator, but wine operator. But it's short, so it's wine op, because someone took wine operator from her on Twitch. Moving along. <sighs> 20 cops disciplined for eating firefighter snacks. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> Sharpening knives and watching Donut. Living the dream. What's up, man? Love your vids. Ever been to Charlotte, North Carolina? I live near Charlotte, North Carolina. I love Charlotte. Hey, Miss Lady Skull, thanks for the 50 MXs. I don't know what that is. Don't have for thanks, thanks guys. Thanks for all the super chat. You, know, you should check out some of the recent shootings. Oh, I saw the one you just you were you just said the, the dogs got their button pushed. Yeah, both dogs. That's that's such a sad video. All right, let's talk about the firefighters getting their getting their little booties hurt. They just should you must dispatch too much easier. Utmost, thank you, Guido. Thank you, Happy Kraut. Thank you again. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Um, your first super chat. You may now. I may now smoke. Thank you. Uh, they they need to go ahead and make that legal here in South Carolina. By the way, you love the vids. Do more vids with iDubs. I wish, man. I would. I would freaking do a lot of videos with him. But he's a really busy guy with his own videos. It may not seem like it, but he puts a lot of work into his videos, and he's got a lot of projects and a lot of cool stuff going on right now. Uh, 20 Troy police officers have been disciplined for breaking into a fire station's locked snack pantry. This is pretty, pretty good stuff. Oh, man. Troy personnel were given key fob access to all the fire stations within the city. As I've told you guys before, the best place to poop when you're on duty is the fire station. Because a lot of the times they don't have very much to do, so they just clean the fire station over and over. Their toilets are pristine. So, you know, if you can if you can just go out of service for a little bit and go poo at the fire station, it's it's wonderful. You don't have to go poo at a dirty, dirty, nasty public restroom. And plus, no one's going to like... I, I mean, I don't know if you noticed it, but that's an extremely vulnerable position while you're taking a crap. You got your duty belt off. You don't have your gun with, with you. What if you were in a public restroom and some dirtbag saw you go in there and they were like, hey, that's the perfect time to assassinate that officer while he's pooping, you know? So go to the fire station to poo. I don't think the, I don't think the firefighters are going to shoot you. So, historically, the Troy Fire Department has welcomed the city's police officers to help themselves to snacks and drinks at the fire station and to no avail themselves and, and to avail themselves of the facilities whenever they like for a meal and restroom breaks, like I said. Oh, uh, so what happened is they built a new fire station, or there were some renovations at the fire station. The snacks were moved from an open area in the kitchen to a locked pantry. <laughs> 
So the, the police department began an internal investigation after the fire department complained that the snack supply in the recently locked cabinet had continued to dwindle. Investigators reviewed the security footage from the fire station and discovered that 20 different police officers had used credit cards to pop the lock on the pantry door and get to the snacks. So they assumed, because they were getting all the free snacks before, they could still get free snacks, but hey, that that's locked! So they were taking credit cards and popping the lock open and taking the snacks. Um, it was like the entire police department, it looks like. If you have to make entry using a tool to defeat a latch, that's clue that you're not supposed to go in that room, Lieutenant Jones said. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Hey, what? Can we get some likes on the video? Is that what someone said? Alrighty. We have a problem. Thank you, Larissa Mad Labs on Recreation today. I, I saw that. Count. I, I saw that. He, he beat me to um, the Killdozer video, and now he beat me to Roof Koreans. But maybe you guys will stop asking me about it so much now. That there's a good thing that comes with that. <laughs> Beard wax do I use? I don't use any. So, yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the officers were going into the, the fire station and popping the lock and, and taking the snacks. And uh, they, they got in trouble. They all got in trouble. <laughs> oh, let me read chat for a second. Officers got... Officers do have to snack. Hi, Dad. Hello, JJ. All to your... <laughs> oh, no. All right, so a lot of you probably don't watch my Twitch stream because I never have 3,000 people in there, right? What are, what are we right now? Yeah, 3,000 people. I never, I don't get 3,000 people in my Twitch stream. I usually get around like 500 to 1,000. So I'm sure a lot of you haven't heard me say this before. The, the Roof Korean video has been so hyped up for the past year that in order to make a decent Roof Korean video, you know, of like what is expected... I'm going to actually have to find a real roof Korean that was in the 1992 LA riots and like shoot targets from a roof, our people. So I, I, I may have to start a riot just to get people to loot their store so I can get on the roof and shoot looters with them. I don't know. So that's that's why I don't I don't even know where to go with the roof Korean video. Seriously, it's so hyped up. When it when it eventually comes out, it's probably going to be the best thing ever. I could probably get like. Some really cool people in it, you know? But we'll see. <laughs> Just stop asking me. <sighs> What's wrong with my mustache? Lots. I did a video of... Uh, Super Chat move really fast. Super Chat bro. Like everyone donates. I'm going to tell you, you should shout out my bro's channel. Ah, uh, you almost got me. You almost got me, you piece of shit. <laughs> almost said it. What an asshole. <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> almost, dude. Almost. What an asshole. Anyway, <laughs> he's moving on to the next story. Oh, you dick. I'm not reading anything anyone is saying anymore. <laughs> Kyler, thanks for joining, man. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to start doing member-only streams again to keep some of the trolls out and just to make it exclusive for the members. So if you want to smack that member button with whatever you have in front of you, I'd love it. So, moving along. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, I was looking up stories before you guys came in. Stuff that I hadn't seen before. So I, I don't know a lot of these. We're going to be reading them together. This one looks pretty good. Uh, this guy... It's sentenced to 22 years for... What'd he do? What'd he do? What'd he do? Oh, um, aggravated robbery, abduction, kidnapping, and aggravated burglary. He was on parole when he committed all that in 2018. So he was sentenced to 22 years the other day. And he stood up and he started cursing at the... I was mistaken. So, and blah, blah, blah. Years, 31 days. So, the judge the, uh, sentences uh, him to... That you have or will have 22 to years. In prison. So he stands up and he's like, F your courtroom, you racist. A, B. And you can kind of tell what I've been doing lately. Lo-fi and lifting. And so the judge gives him six more years. Oopsie. 
Da, 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 da. How do I feel about the Florida Man Challenge? That shit's pretty funny. We were talking about that earlier. Florida Man was actually trending on Twitter today. I was so proud. <clears throat> what have you missed? You haven't really missed much. We just we just been talking. We just hanging out. Someone tried to get me to say the N-word with a hard R. It was a uh it was a valiant effort, and you almost got me. <laughs> hey cat Sith. <laughs> What's it? Cat shit. Thank you. Um Oh crap, hold on. Okay, sorry. Sean Hammond. Thanks, man. My favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh when I do eat ice cream, it's mint chocolate chip, for sure. Oh, woman pulls gun on Domino's in and a woman pulls gun in Domino's. I almost said wo woman pulls gun in Domino's employee. Uh, because they forgot to include her chicken wings with her order. That's serious fucking business. I don't have any... Do I have any mods in here? Oh, check my PayPal. Okay. Um, let's check my PayPal. Uh, z zero dollars. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, it. <laughs> Welcome, Bearded Man Talk Science. Thank you for hours of entertainment. You're welcome for the hours of entertainment. A customer at a St. Paul Domino's is accused of pulling a gun on store employees after they neglected to include her chicken wings with her order. The employees say the woman was upset about the food that had been delivered to her house and demanded a refund. When one of the employees called 911, the woman fled in her vehicle. <laughs> Police located the suspect. The suspect. The suspected words vehicle outside her home in Dayton Avenue and identified her as 59 year old Holly Webb. So you don't, 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 don't pull, don't pull a gun. Uh, Val. Oh, you don't, Val, if you got something to do. I'm just saying, people keep trying to get me to say the N-word with a hard R, and they're trying to slyly mask it behind a name. It starts with Nick. Welcome. Okay, moving along. Can we make a roof Korean, a Rainbow Six Siege Operator? I would say yes. Skyler, thanks for subbing or joining the Donut Scuba Squad. I get to hold on one of the county against their will, giving them drugs and forcing them to prostitute themselves. Oh no, Mr. Cripple. <laughs> Your Florida man is just mean spirited and very malicious Florida man. Mine's quirky and funny. Am I in hockey? I'm not. Hey, Proby. How you doing, buddy? Oh, this one's cool. A man's phone pierced with an arrow while he was taking a picture of another man threatening to shoot him. Uh, just believe me, from someone who's been shot in the face with a bow and arrow, uh, it, it, he's probably pretty lucky that it hit his phone. Because <laughs> it doesn't feel good. <laughs> the comments on this are good. I love the Protect and Serve subreddit. What are you going to do? Shoot me with an arrow? <laughs> man who... Was shot with an arrow. <laughs> hey, Double Dog. Thanks, man. Thank you for all the super chats, guys. Hey, don't I do wood laser stuff? I send you a cool thing. Can I get a shout out in a video? Maybe. Thanks for tolerating my fangirling at the grocery store, Donut. You're a legend, man. <laughs> no problem, man. It was good to meet you. When were I hit with a bow and arrow? When I was 15, so 16 years ago. I got shot right in the temple. I, we talk, I, we, I've told the story a bunch, but to the hole in my head right here, especially when I when I bite down. There's nothing under there. Or I got fucking shot by a, by a, by a friend, a friend, you know. How many boat captains have I met in my time? A few. That's a, either a damn good shot or an extremely lucky shot. <laughs> what rank did I reach as an officer? We didn't really have ranks. Uh, we didn't have ranks under sergeant. So it went straight from like patrol officer. I mean, they had like patrol officer, master patrol officer, stuff like that. But it, it was usually just officer. And then it went to sergeant, lieutenant, captain. Um, uh, fucking, I almost said helper chief. The, uh, the vice chief. <laughs> How old was I when I joined the, joined the Navy? 19. 
man. <laughs> a 29-year-old central Iowa man ran through a neighborhood bear-skinned and barking like a dog after he stole a vehicle and led police on a foot chase. Down the street, like, towards my house, and he was naked. A little after 7.30 Friday morning, Des Moines police responded to a welfare oh, no. check of a naked man on the roof of a building barking like a dog before we could get there he had come down he put on some clothes and he'd stolen a car police say <laughs> oh, Diamond shit, Dolo dude. drove the car from the spot near beaverdale park nearly three miles away to his apartment on twana drive seth thanks for and becoming a member back into his birthday we're gonna start doing the member only streams at least once a week an officer caught up to him and tried to take him down he deployed <laughs> the taser at least twice and it had zero effect on this man this officer was no match i mean he just went through him like nothing. Damn. After being shocked with a taser twice, police say Dolo tried to steal the police cruiser, failed, <laughs> oh my God. and then ran through the That's neighborhood a mad lad right there. completely naked and still barking. I was like, well, I'm pretty sure I put the dog away. And so then I look out and there's this naked guy just running through our backyard. Dolo ran from the office. Damn, Diamond Dolo. 51st Street. He's a, Witnesses he's say a that fucking animal. He ran past a group of children <laughs> waiting for the school bus, jumped this fence, and police trapped him. Wait, it took about four to five officers what knife company do I buy from? Get him into custody. Um, I don't buy that many police knives. Dolo admitted to using I, I, I haven't bought one in a while. It could be easily prevented if you just stay out of the dope. Diamond? You stay out of the dope. I have never heard that my entire life. It could, I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. It could have easily been prevented if he, if he would have stayed out of the dope. Oh my god, that's amazing. Diamond Dolo. That's freaking hilarious, man. You need more ship. You got withdrawals? How do you become a member? There's a little button beside subscribe. It says join or something. Welcome, Elmo. Thanks for joining, man. Donut was a boat captain until he took an arrow to the head. <laughs> right? Diamond Dolo, man. This guy. If he would have stayed out of the dope, this all could have been prevented. <laughs> That's such a porn name. <laughs> Oh, let me exit these. X out of these as I go because my memory is screaming. So he didn't use dope. He was in it. He was in the dope. I mean, seeing how, seeing as how he got naked, started barking, got on a roof, stole a car, drove several miles, was tased twice, tried to steal a police car, and then he was finally taken down. He probably did jump inside of a pile of, of dope. Moving along. Oh, this one's sad. This one's fucked up. So this this one is not one of the happy Mary Diamond Dolo cases that we just went over. This guy is kind of a douchebag. No jail time for man accused of burning a caged cat alive and feeding it to his dog. This one's messed up. As you if you couldn't tell from the headline already. Uh, so this is Roberto Hernandez, 19-year-old Roberto Hernandez of Miami, Florida. Roberto Hernandez. Uh, when he was 17 years old, he forced a stray cat into a cage and he poured accelerant on it and lit it on fire and then let his pit bulls eat it. And they, his, his, it looks like his defense attorney said, he's a young man on the precipice of adult life who has never been arrested and has shown himself to be a loving child, a responsible caretaker and law abiding citizen. Uh, and his attorney urged the court to sentence him to probation. And that's what they did. Uh, they gave him probation. He didn't have to see any jail time. Uh, that's 19-year-old Roberto Hernandez of Miami, Florida. <sighs> I don't. I said it in a video uh, not too long ago that sometimes our justice system can be a revolving door of giant turds, and this is one of those instances. Five inch made knives at Blade HQ. I love you. Are, uh, are, are cold steel knives still good? I used to love watching their videos on YouTube of them taking a knife and like cutting through a whole pig with it. You know that big fat guy on there with a with a machete just hacking at a at a pig corpse. And then he would be like, yeah, it's super sharp, see? And we thought Shane Dawson was bad, oh no. So, oh, he'll be a, a million bucks. He'll kill someone in the next five years. Oh, check out the last sentence on here. Um... Research shows that individuals who commit acts of cruelty against helpless and trusting animals don't just stop there, she said. Many of these individuals move on to commit violent acts against their fellow humans. So, yeah, that's uh, that's 19-year-old Roberto Hernandez of Miami, Florida. 
What a, what a, what a, what a dirt bag. Where's my music coming from? I have a lo-fi. Well, I don't have the lo-fi stream up because the stream has copyright, copyrighted, <laughs> copyrighted music on it. So I have a, uh, like a no, uh, no copyright lo-fi playlist up right now. It's all the music I use for my videos in the background sometimes. Won't lie, always watch you while studying. Figure it works since I'm studying criminology. Ex exactly, of course. I love you too, Land Party Pro. Thanks, man. Thanks for that that big D super chat. Rob Ashley. Hey, man. Welcome to the Donut Scuba Squad. We're going to start doing a lot more member-only streams. It's going to be fun. So, this guy's sick. Oh, here's something funny. Moving along. Watch this. Oh, hold on. He already missed it. Oh, no. You guys can see all my likes over there, but whatever. All right, so there's some shit. Hold on, I'm gonna have to move, move it over. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. All right, so okay, so there's there's some some firemans right here. You see the firemans, and then you got this firemans up here, and he's just got a bad stream. He can't aim his stream for shit, and he shoots the firemans right here with with the water hose. So watch this. This is funny. It's, it's it happens quick. <laughs> he probably it looks like he he fucks the guy up a little bit. Here we go, watch. Boom! Straight up hit him like he was Antifa. Dug, dug a six foot deep hole in the in the grass too. Even the the fireman's, what, sergeant maybe? It's like, what was that? <laughs> one more time, one more time, everyone. Poor guy, those hoses gotta hurt. Miranda, Walter, Bunny, thanks for subbing. Oh, hit him, right in the head, knocked his helmet off, man. Look, boom! Tore that yard all the shit. <laughs> Hold on, one more. Yeah, this fr it's, this, this is the uh, this is friendly fire in the fireman's world. Hey, you don't read about the Walter Sunday? Lost the major trooper. No, man, I don't know if I've heard about that one yet. Tactical firefighting. <laughs> maybe, maybe he he was uh, suspecting that his fellow firefighter was Antifa. So he hit him with the water. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think we've ever seen a riot video in the United States where they get hit with a water hose. Maybe maybe some old ones like 92, you know, Roof Korean times, friendly water. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever, I, I, I haven't seen one within the past 20 years, I believe, where someone got hit with water, with a water hose. I don't know. I know they use them in like Venezuela and all the other places around the world all the time. Anyways, one more time. Boom! What a dick. We can finish it now. We'll finish the video. Poor guy. Long care has grown more aggressive recently, right? <laughs> Should you apply to be a trooper or apply to county and try to be a deputy? I mean, it depends on what you want to do. You know, you know what you're going to do. Uh, poor guy. I mean, we're laughing about it, but that that couldn't have fucking felt good. Um, it depends on what kind of policing you want to do. Um, I would talk to both of them, and if you haven't already, and of course, with being a trooper, you're gonna do more traffic stuff. You're gonna do, uh, you, you're you're gonna you know write tickets. You're gonna work wrecks. You're gonna do stuff like that. With being a deputy, you're probably gonna just you know you're probably gonna do all the fun stuff <laughs> good job donut you deserve a medal for what you do for first responders exposing the bs stores thanks jesse i appreciate that man uh angry kittens that stream will rip open a roof with ease yeah right that poor freaking guy i'm glad he has helmet on because it looked like he hit him right in the head and his helmet flew off moving along oh this one's not funny at all but like it's an it's just one of those one of those things I need to put out there. Uh, don't run from the police. So Mount Vernon, Washington, a a police officer was chasing a shoplifter, and the shoplifter started running across a road, and the police officer tased him, and he planked out. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. When people plank out, when you tase them, they go all stiff, and they. And they skid on the road. Well, this guy skidded into the road, and then that car ran over him and killed him. Um, uh, don't, don't steal, guys. Don't steal things, and um, don't, don't run from the police. Just don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, doesn't always work out. 
Superman right in front of a car. So, oh, that's this, this good. Uh, moving along to something a little bit more joyful. David! Hey, thanks, man. Uh, just a, I know you guys are asking about it, and just to say it on here, I've said it on my stream a few times. Um, I will not be making a video about New Zealand. I will not be talking about New Zealand. Uh, just, I, it's not something that I'm going to add more fuel to the fire. Vestian! Poor kitty. Oh, yeah. You're talking about the one that got burned up. Poor cat. Poor cat. That guy got probation. And that was uh that that was a uh, 19 year old Roberto Hernandez from Miami, Florida that burned the cat alive. Just in case you guys didn't hear me say that. We appreciate the many phone calls regarding what appears to be an officer who drove off from the gas pump with the hose attached. We're glad to let you know this isn't a gas drive off. Rather, it's a new method of refueling while working hard to protect you. It's a simple practice to the one. Uh, it's a similar practice to the one picture below. It prevents unnecessary stops at gas stations where donuts and drinks are readily available. Whoever captured this picture must have missed the refueling. The effectiveness is still being tested. We'll let you know the outcome. That's pretty fun. Uh, would you get rejected by an agency because I swiped a candy bar when I was 11? <laughs> no, dude. No. Were you arrested for it? <laughs> Shut up, Magnum. Magnum said burning a cat is almost as bad as throwing a cat in the dryer. That was an accident, and Ollie is still fine. He's fat and happy. He's happier than ever because I spoil him because I feel so terrible about that. KC-130 gas station? I know. Look, I mean, it, that even looks like a donut. See? Coincidence? Hmm? Donut is an animal abuser. <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, Donut, thanks for making these videos. They really make me happy, says Mr. Cat Gaming. You inspired me to do buds in a while. Well, I hope you're, you're good at getting kicked in the nuts, because that's what that is. <laughs> Happy to finally subscribe to you. I've been watching for a long time. You're definitely my favorite YouTuber. Thanks, Tawny. And Brennan Hurren. Welcome to the Donut Scuba Squad. Any... Hey, can someone tell me what rank I am on live? I don't want to look it up right now. I'm just I'm just curious. Because every time we have these, we get a lot of people in here, and it's super fun. <laughs> this one right here. I haven't even read through what what it's all about but I threw a cat in a dryer I didn't mean to hey Michael once again it's 31 year old donut operator from North Carolina <laughs> that's funny uh Mr. Cat Gaming I, I said that I read it I read it back I'm 69 <laughs> no no not how many people are here like what rank I am I'm just curious. So you guys remember me? I did a recap last week. I don't know. I did a recap on the mayor in Florida who shot at the SWAT team. And so they, they took him in and uh, they booked him. And this guy replaced him, who oddly enough kind of looks like older Alex Jones. And he kind of they kind of look related. Port Ritchie, ex-mayor, acting mayor, conspired in jailhouse call. He got arrested because he was practicing medicine since 1991, I think it was, without a license. Fourth? Oh, that's pretty sick. Ha. Huh. Neat. The two of the city's mayors have been arrested, and on Thursday, state agents rule a lie. Ex-mayor Del Massad, is, it, is that Massad? Massad? Accused of firing at Pasco County deputies during a raid on his home last month, conspired with his successor, acting mayor, to intimidate a Port Ritchie police officer at the center of his legal woes. <laughs> the two mayors discussed what to do about the officer during a March call placed at about 10.50 p.m. from the Pasco jail. I don't know, but he is in on everything, he said of the officer. I'm on it, the mayor replied. You know, this doesn't go down without somebody answering for it, Roe replied. So they were conspiring against the police officer. And, uh, oh, it's fucking Florida. It's such a Florida soap opera. Such a Florida soap opera. 
Don't lie. Cat owed you money for a gram of catnip. Forty, Fortney, don't, don't tell anyone that. I was, I, I trusted you. <laughs> got clipped on each foot. He got tased two days from your apartment. And got clipped on each foot. <laughs> the county jail might not be the ideal place to concoct such a scheme. However, every time an inmate makes a call, it's recorded. <sighs> Florida Florida mayor conspired with conspired with Florida mayor against a police officer. Hey, Yidis McGee. Welcome. Can I come to Texas and shoot tanks, mortars, legs, MGs, anti-tank guns and flamethrowers? I'll be in Texas in April doing that same thing with a bunch of cool people. Welcome American Rider 15. Welcome to the Donut Scuba Squad. NYPD officer's killer captured after 20 years on the run. So this is a this is a pretty neat little case. He killed a police officer. And I mean, uh, the title just gave all that away. But yeah, man, he was on the run for 20 years. Guess where he hit out? Jacksonville, Florida. The people in there are I'm glad you're making a difference. Thanks, Cody Linder. I appreciate that. Aesthetic, thanks for the buck, man. Uh, yeah, so he hit out in Florida after he killed a police officer 20 years ago. And he started a rap career as... I read it earlier. Where is it at? He was also wanted for weapons charges in North Carolina. Damn, dude. Where is it at? Oh, yeah. He he had become a rapper named Monsta Cody. I was going to take that name, but this son of a bitch took it first. You know what my cats are doing? Okay, my cats are awesome. Jeeves is awesome. They're all awesome. None of them have been stuck inside of a clothes dryer for 10 minutes in at least... Five months. What are my thoughts on this? Yeah. I don't talk about politics, my guy. What's with Florida today? I don't know. Here's he said, Truest Show was the first season of True Detective. What are my thoughts? Zach? I don't remember much about the first season of True Detective. That was the one with um, Woody Harrelson... And um, Matthew McConaughey, wasn't it? Can you say shy LaDouche, but an Arnold Schwarzenegger accent, and then say you did it for the reps? I can't do a good Arnold vo voice. <laughs> shy LaDouche. <laughs> I can't do it, man. You guys know I suck at accents. What am I sipping? Um, uh, Jim Bean Black. I've gotten in a, I've gotten in a, in a whiskey a little bit lately. Thanks for the great content. You're welcome. See, what was that? Did I read that one? Oh, the true detective thing. Um, I don't remember much about it. I don't think... I, I wouldn't say detective work is like that at all. That was a lot of Hollywood in that. Is Master at Arms a good rate? I mean, do you want a combat role? Or, like, do you want to... Ruin everyone's fun? <laughs> I'm just playing. Do what you want to do, man. Do what makes you happy. Oh, uh, man. Honey whiskey? I got burned out on honey whiskey, man. I drank the shit out of that for a few years. Honey whiskey and ginger ale is amazing, though. Uh, what position was I in the Navy? Um, mostly missionary, sometimes doggy. So. Local Florida man gets tased in the dick and then continues to run while dragging an officer behind him. So yeah, this guy's an asshole, and they finally called him. So that's cool. It's just you're you're trying to stay out of the law enforcement's eye. You're trying to stay out of the public eye because you killed a police officer 20 years ago, and you have warrants out of North Carolina for gun-related charges. So you start a fucking rap career. <sighs> this is a good one. Ten dollars for a shot. I mean, I've I've kind of been been doing that this whole time do I, reply to, do I reply to facebook messenger i try but i don't know if you guys have seen it if you go to my facebook page it says like four percent response rate because i get so many messages i i can't 
Woman used t-shirt gun to launch drugs and cell phones into prison. I mean, that's using your using your mind. Work smarter, not harder, right? Pretty good. An Oklahoma woman was arrested. Oh, she's from Oklahoma. That was I thought that was for sure a Florida one. An Oklahoma woman was arrested after authorities say she used a t-shirt gun to launch drugs, cell phones, and other contraband over a prison fence. The Oklahoma Department of Correction says the incident prompted a lockdown. Oh, Carrie Joe Hickman. That is a white trash name if I've ever heard one. Not Carrie, just mostly Joe Hickman. Got that J-O in the middle. They discovered a t-shirt gun and other packages in her vehicle. The container was launched Sunday. It contained cell phones, earbuds, phone chargers, methamphetamine, digital scales, marijuana, and tobacco. That's a big old felony. I did I see Dan Kill's roof cream video? I have not watched it yet, but I'm sure he did a pretty good job. He did a good job with um the uh the the, the almost a murder mobile. The killdozer. He he released that video as I was making my killdozer video. So he's 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 on it. He must be spying on me. Jameson Black, have you had it? Uh I have not. Secret Squirrel, thanks, man. Salute to you as well. Columbus, Ohio police has just shut the whole vice division down. It seems like that's happening quite a bit lately, especially with some larger police departments. You guys remember the Baltimore story I went over not too long ago? Where they uh their gun their gun task force was fucking robbing people and selling dope and burglarizing houses and shit? Like it was it was for real, you know, the shield with Michael Chiklis style stuff. That t-shirt gun held all that? I guess it was small amounts of it. That's what I'm thinking. Or either she had, you know, a few different packages. Eh, eh. Uh, do you know if you'll play Ready or Not? I am more than likely going to be in Ready or Not as a character. So I'm really looking forward to that game. We did a big podcast about it. If you go look at the, the, the devs, you, I think they have a YouTube channel. I was on the podcast for the world release of the gameplay trailer. We talked about it and talked about what's going to be in the game, and it's pretty cool. And I asked a bunch of stupid questions, <laughs> but I thought it was a fun podcast. Hey, Donna, I don't know if you knew account. I, I know. Oh God, I just said that. <laughs> hey, Donna, you keep me sane and safe through many night shifts. Sa oh, s sane. Sane and safe. Yeah, no problem, John. How many guns does it take to start a Florida man? Number one on live stream? You're pooping me. That's pretty cool. Don't shave. I remember when you did it last time. I'm not. I'm not ever shaving my mustache. I'll trim it. I've been trimming it a little bit, but I mean, I think it's looking nice and voluminous and big, and I'm not gonna do anything about it. Nothing. Nothing. It's staying. Especially since Demolition Ranch Matt told me I can't trim it. Would you advertise a link for Medical Fund of a Medically Retired SP SDPD officer? Okay. Did I, go, did I go over the new police activity yet? The one where they shoot the dog? I don't want to go over that, man. That one's sad. If you guys want to go watch it. It's just, I felt so bad for his, um, for his handler, the dog's handler. He just like doubles over because he knows his dog just got killed. This is so sad. Let's move on. Man trying to kill cockroach accidentally shoots himself. <laughs> oh, it's in Michigan. Uh, Michigan man's attempt to kill a cockroach Tuesday morning really backfired. Who fucking shoots a cockroach inside of their home? He decided to neutralize the threat by throwing a shoe at it, according to police. Oh, sounds like no big deal. Just one problem. He overlooked the revolver tucked inside his shoe, so the gun came flying out and went off when it hit the floor. The stray round hit the man in the foot. This is this is a real fucking this is a real news news website what kind of hollywood comedy bullshit is that he didn't try to shoot the cockroach exact i haven't read this article yet he threw a shoe at it and there was a revolver in his shoe and it went off and hit him in the foot that is that is you can't make that up was it a tiny revolver Dancing camel? What the fuck? Hold on, we're going to read some of these headlines, too. These look interesting. Three men accused of stealing a claw machine from Walmart. Out of all the shit you can steal from Walmart, you steal a claw machine? 
this is hilarious. Oh my god, what rabbit hole, what Florida man rabbit hole did we just all find? It could have been a Derringer. Austin, yeah, Austin, that's true. Hold on, hold on. Stealing of all things, a claw machine from a Walmart on US 1 in St. Augustine. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henn the learned the same fuck? crooks are believed to have hit another North Florida Walmart a few weeks earlier. These three men caught on camera walking into a St. Augustine <laughs> Walmart and getting away with a claw machine. Wow, that's pretty wild. Honestly, who's going to say anything to him? According to this report, someone called the store's assistant manager saying they were going to park and getting away in this Ford F1 Walmart in Gainesville just a But they're pretty bold. What would be the motivation to steal something like yeah. that? Yeah, I, I would say break any, up in the coin like box this can be resold, um, it, it, especially to an unsuspecting and resell uh, individual. It, yeah. I spoke with the man who discovered the machine. <sighs> Guys, don't steal from Walmart. Don't steal anything, but like Walmart has so many cameras in it. If you're going to steal a giant claw machine, you got to know you're going to be on a camera somewhere. Google Florida Man. I, I, I did, Brandon. Uh, my Florida Man birthday thing challenge was Florida Man gives girlfriend wet willy and is arrested for battery. Fucking claw machine. That's funny. What was this one? Florida Man finds bright green iguana in toilet and calls 911. A Florida man called 911 after going into his bathroom and finding a bright green iguana swimming in his toilet. Why would... A firefighter put on a sterile glove, reached in, and grabbed the iguana. He took it outside and released it into the wild. <laughs> Come on. What, what grown-ass man can't reach into a toilet and grab an iguana? I'm disappointed. <laughs> this one. Hey, I need to try Jameson Black Barrel. Well, I'm gonna take that $24.99 and put that towards my Jameson Black Barrel uh, 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 fund. Words, Jesus. You think military kids serve the country? Too? Do you think military kids serve their country too? By the way, not the same as their parents. Um, I don't know how to answer that. My son received an award one time. When I got a Navy Achievement Medal, my son got an award as well. So I think that they should be recognized for going through hardships. Okay. Did the story of the cop killer say the NYPD made a mistake and say the officer is still alive? Did they? Officer was seriously wounded and left paralyzed. Officer Ling eventually died from those injuries when this story was first reported. However, on Monday, NYPD issued a correction saying that they had made an error. Officer Ling was paralyzed in the shooting, but is very much alive. Okay, Officer Ling is still alive. Damn, that was an error. Thank you for calling that out. I didn't see that. Hey, thank you, 99765, Zach. Appreciate it, buddy. So this is a funny... Funny thing I came across directly before I got on stream. I gotta take these out to pee here in a minute, guys. What advice would I give someone willing to go into the police force? Uh, I have several videos on it, as do every other police officer YouTuber. <laughs> on March 20th, 2019, detectives from the multi-agency gang enforcement consortium Metro Tactical Team. God, that is quite the quite the name. Multi-agency gang enforcement consortium metro tactical team. A gek mit. <laughs> whiskey fun. Thanks, Skyler. Thanks for contributing to the whiskey fun. I e swabbed the poop deck. Hey, I actually did something cool to find my Navy achievement medal. To get my, find my to get my Navy achievement medal. Thank you very much. Um. Oh, there's a system inside every Navy plane inside every plane called TACAN, Tactical Air Navigation, and it tells you. When you're going to hit a mountain, uh, when you're going to hit, you know, when you're if you're going to run into a physical object. But the thing is, TACAN hadn't been updated for 25 years. And guess what happens in 25 years? Skyscrapers are built. I found out that this problem existed and I brought it to my command. And the TACAN system for every single aircraft in the military was updated to reflect new skyscrapers so planes don't run into them. Thank you very fucking much. That's why I got a Navy Achievement Medal. Terrain, whatever, whatever. Uh. 
So yeah, I don't think I've ever talked about that before. I forget I got a NAM. <laughs> but you wouldn't know if you hit a mountain. Not if it's foggy and the weather's bad. So hey, that's how I got my Navy Achievement Medal. My biggest, my biggest uh, award I ever got. My biggest medal I ever got in the Navy. So, <laughs> and then I went, and then I went to Buds and got hurt. <laughs> I wanted to be a SEAL, goddammit. I didn't want to fix airplanes. How does that get missed? I don't know. I brought it up to Northrop Grumman. I took because we had a Northrop Grumman office working in our our uh, our squadron. I worked for VRC forty, the Greyhounds. And I went to the North Grumman guys and I was like, hey, has this ever been updated? Like, is a plane going to fly into a building? And they were like, oh shit, that's never been updated. And and I put it up the line and I got a spot NAM. I didn't even know I was getting one. We had a ceremony one day and the, the our skipper just called me up and was like, hey, you get a NAM. You found this cool shit. It was really neat. I'm, I'm proud of that. I forgot about that. <clears throat> I wrote up. I wish I still had the write up I did for that. God damn, how did I forget about that? I've been hit in the head so many fucking times. Too many flashbangs. I'm glad. I'm fucking. I'm glad someone. I'm glad I remembered that. I'm happy now. That's cool. I forgot all about that. <laughs> Thank a police officer in honor of uh, Eastchester police officer Mike Frey. End of watch 2196. All right, Rob. Mike Frey. VAW 120. Oh, that was directly beside us. <clears throat> um, okay. Moving along. I got called up. Squirrel. Did I go to Buds? I did go to Buds. But not for very long. Uh, traffic stop. They arrested a passenger, Lou Quintana for Quintana for being in possession of a loaded firearm. He is a Washington State resident and Nortino gang member, admitted to bringing the firearm to California. <laughs> He's a, what a fucking terrible gangster. This is the worst, <laughs> worst gangster ever. He just tells the police that he brought it into California. Come on, man. Post 9/11. Like when was I in the Navy? I was in the Navy from. 2007 to 2012. I was in for five years. I signed a four-year contract originally, and then I signed a contract when my four years was up. It was a conditional contract that said either I become a Navy SEAL or I get out of the Navy. So another year happened, and I wasn't a Navy SEAL, so I was able to get out. He looks like the worst game member ever. Okay, so <laughs> you gotta love his Terrari. <laughs> Fucking Terrari jacket he has on. Oh, Loretta Silver member. I saw something about that tonight. Tim Pool was. Thank you for reminding me of that. Hold on, hold on, guys. There's something else I want to talk about tonight. Tim Pool was talking about that. There's someone in and someone in in England like accidentally misgendered someone on fucking Twitter and now they're facing charges one second guys um, we'll talk we're, we're gonna do the gang member here I'm sorry I'm all over the place I just I'm gonna forget this if I don't look it up oh where's it at here we go we're gonna look at this one here in a second um Is my name Leo? It is. It is. Uh, that's my name. That's why it's a live Leo recap. That's nice to meet you. Um, God, you figured out my real name. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seems like just yesterday he was driving go-karts, searching for mushrooms, and helping his brother rescue the princess while riding a dinosaur. Mario went to the dark side, but at least he found his princess wasn't in the castle, but in the hood. <laughs> it's S.A. Mario. Who let Farva go undercover? That's got to be the best one right there. He fucking does look like Farva. Uh, Leo, I'm just kidding, guys. My name's not Leo. Leo stands for Law Enforcement Orangutan. They found out that it was uh, the job was so easy that they can actually train monkeys to be police officers. And so that's, that's where Leo comes from. I was so interested in that study that they did. Um, some, some more progressive departments... Uh, like like the LAPD, they they're running a, a prototype program where they they partnered up orangutans and they have them driving around and doing policing because eventually police officers are all going to re be replaced with apes because it's such an incredibly easy job. So 
He looks like a Mexican Power Ranger <laughs> with a Terrari jacket on. He looks like l the little homies I used to buy for 50 cent at Food Max. Do you guys remember those? The little homies that came in the, the gumball machines. <laughs> I used to have some of those, man. <laughs> Why didn't they pepper spray Tyrone's foot? I don't know, man. They should have. Hey, Jonathan Gutierrez. I just learned how to pronounce that name when I did that video last week on Officer Gutierrez. Kaylee said I was an idiot. She heard me in here mispronouncing, mispronouncing and saying Gutierrez. And uh, so, hey, thanks, man. Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> Thank God I have Kaylee now. She keeps me from saying some very fucking stupid shit. Are those high water pants or super low shorts? I think some of the comments mention that. What in the Nacho Libre? <laughs> hey, thanks, Fig. Aspiring. I don't. I, phew, aspiring. I don't know, man. I would love to train with both of those guys. Come on, stop making fun of his pants. He clearly ate a mushroom and became full size while his pants stayed fun size. <laughs> yeah, this lo fi song sucks. Let me move along. There we go. I use this one in my videos all the time. Bam, bam. Bam. Um, there are some more comments about his pants. I'm gonna wear my capris today, foo. <laughs> they should make a gun law that prohibits felons from possessing guns and ammo. If one existed, I'm sure he wouldn't have had one. <laughs> oh no. You want to be a game warden? What's my input on that, T Buds Outdoors? I would freaking love to. Excuse me, be a game warden. That's a sick ass job, man. In uh, South Carolina, though, in order to join the DNR, from what I understand, you ha your dad has to be like a senator. <laughs> it's just hard as shit to get into it. Uh, the chick in the video in the in Virginia who shot herself while handcuffed. I don't know how I feel about the considering the body cam was magically knocked off. A lot of people have been bringing that one up, saying, "Oh, the body camera just fell off." You fucking realize those things are clipped on with usually a plastic or a metal clip, and if you get into a fight with someone, you're gonna lose shit. You're gonna lose fucking radios. You're gonna lose your body camera. You're rolling around on the ground fighting with another human being. It's not like, oh, my, whoop, we're going to do something illegal. Or, oh, it just magically fell off. You're fighting another human being. This shit's going to fucking fall off. Sometimes. Most of the time, actually. Or break. It's plastic. It's a plastic camera. <clears throat> Am I Dr. Disrespect's more handsome brother? I don't know. He's a pretty good looking dude. Rob Ashley, you like my shirt, man? I, I follow their Instagram. They're really, they're really funny people, and their their blog their blog posts are actually really good. That's a lie. Don't know. Plastic things never break, right? Hold on. Oh, while we're talking about it, there was a female who showed how you can shoot yourself while being handcuffed the other day. Let me find it real quick. Um, shit. Hey, Nick. Thanks, man. My father passed away in September. He worked at a place called Ellie PD. He was ex army. A man named Doug Eddington worked with him. He was a cop who passed away in a few months. Can you watch Top Cops Doug Edgington? Is that. I don't know. I don't know what that is, man. Can you can you email that to me? Let me let me find let me find it because there was a chick the other day who I saw in protect and serve who put handcuffs on. And here we go here we go I found it. Watch. Right here. Uh, is this her? Okay, yeah, check this out. So, so there. If in case you guys didn't hear the other day, let me go over it first. Let me preface it with something. A female 
uh, what she, was a traffic stop. Her and her boyfriend got pulled over. They got put into the back of a police car. They weren't searched very well. They weren't patted down very well. And the female ended up having a gun on her and shooting herself in the head while her hands were handcuffed behind her back. And people were freaking out, saying the police covered it up. The police camera, body camera fell off magically. Oh, what a con big convenience it fell off. And people were like, well, you can't shoot yourself in the face while handcuffed behind your back. Uh, so this this girl on Protect and Serve made this video showing that it is possible. If, if you are a police officer or if you've watched enough cops, you know that, especially females, I can't get my hands around for, for fuck. I'm not... I'm not um, limber at all. Females, I've seen them take their hands from around their back, bring them up, and scratch their noses or smoke a cigarette. I've seen some crackheads can do it. Any crackhead, male or female, can do that also. They can smoke cigarettes with their hands handcuffed behind their back. They bring both hands up and they can fucking do it. I've seen it. So how does a person shoot themselves in the head with their handcuffs, their, their hands cuffed behind their back? Watch. She does it. And it's kind of funny the way she does it. <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a weird video, but that's how. <laughs> we are not watching a snuff film, no. <laughs> anyway, this is funny. That chick took the time to go on here and be like, look, here's how you do it. It's a, it's, a, it's a nutty situation, it is. But it's completely plausible. Don't, that's my fetish. What are you doing, man? <laughs> it's known. <laughs> Kicked cans, jumped on, and punched cars while screaming. <laughs> what, was that? what was she doing? She was showing how you can shoot yourself in the head with your hands cuffed behind your back, in case you guys missed that entire story I just told leading up to that video. So that's a big one. YouTube, this is hilarious. Lion cop messes with the wrong Lamborghini on her. Is that the one where he's like, you gotta have plates on this car and the cops, the guy's like, no, you don't. And then the cop is like, well, I gotta go. Okay. But the, I mean, the cop was wrong in that. Actually researched it. Moving along. Um, I wanted to look at this Tim Pool thing real quick. I haven't, I haven't researched this at all. So, Good Morning Britain said a journalist has been accused of a hate crime after she misgendered a trans person on Twitter. Hate crimes have a maximum two-year prison sentence. But when knife crime soaring across the UK, should police be investigating incidents such as this? Can you imagine that? Uh, someone's transgender and you, you call them a dude? Or you say, hey, that's a man. Like, you're, if that's your personal belief, or even if it's an accident, you can you can get you can get arrested for that. That's just that's crazy, man. What's Pennsylvania State Police pay for shipping and storing fees? I left a comment on that video. I know what you're talking about. I was thinking about making a full video of that one. That little shithead talking to the police. <laughs> the cop calls him a, 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 a... I don't want to say it. I'm hoping this stream will be will actually get ass. So, I don't know, man. That's just... That's fucking nuts, dude. That's nuts. All right. We're almost done. But we are going to look at Protect and Serve real quick. Because I haven't looked at it today. So, we can scroll through it together, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. That's weird. There's like a big dip. Huh. Here we go. If an American Mr. a Brit, does MI6 go and get the CIA, get them CIA style, they black bag their asses? You're on Twitter and you're like, that dude, but it was, you know, it's a, it's a transgender person. And all of a sudden MI6 pulls up and jumps out, puts a black bag over your head, pulls you into a van. Family doesn't see you ever again. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, an informal breathalyzer. Have you guys seen this one yet? Chick dancing all over the cop. They start making... This definitely isn't... I don't know. Is this a U.S.? I don't think this is a U.S. He doesn't have like a regular duty belt on. 
and they start making out. Hey, protect and serve. Damn. Police woman was called on duty for an emergency in Romania and had the biggest surprise. Duh. Hey, Alec, thank you. Love your content personality. You deserve the world. Thanks, Ash. Minnesota police deploy robot to take apart suspect's vehicle during standoff with so-called free citizen. Oh my, a free citizen. We all know what that is. Intense standoff. I can't wait to see video from this. He's been charged with two felonies after a standoff where a device was pulled from his RV that was shaped like a pig and could qualify as an explosive. What? Shaped like a pig and could qualify as an explosive. This is amazing. <clears throat> the standoff started after Dennis Dwayne, <laughs> his middle name would be Dwayne, uh, Vaughn, was pulled over by police for a revoked license. He told officers he didn't need a license because he's a free citizen. Oh, man. Sovereign citizen. A tent standoff ensued and lasted from 510 to 930. Damn. Got a nice big four-hour standoff there. More charges could come pinning a test on the pig shaped explosive device please don't, they don't even have a picture i'm gonna have to contact this police department i'm i i i need a picture of that i need a picture of the pig shaped explosive device <laughs> the report said the words fuck the police was written on the device <laughs> he had a bomb that was shaped like a pig that said fuck the police on it oh my god he said a couple of cops are going to die during the incident. He came out of the RV after officers released chemical rounds, so they gassed him out. And they deployed a robot to take apart the vehicle. He had a warrant out for his arrest over failing to pay child support. A dude named Dwayne Wood. That is hilarious, dude. Oh, my God. Let me throw this in my notes real quick, guys. I have got to get a picture of that. I need to see the pig-shaped device. The pig-shaped bomb that says fuck the police on it. I gotta see this. That's hilarious. They should have blown the whole RV up. That's that's good stuff. When you have freedom riding shotgun. I don't know the context behind this. But that's definitely a patrol car with a live eagle in it. <laughs> Firefighter jailed after setting fires. Don't forget who the real enemy is, guys. <laughs> Northland volunteer firefighter jailed after admitting 10 arson charges. That makes me think... You remember that guy from a few years ago? He was a fire marshal. He was responsible for investigating fires, and he was setting fires just so he could go to them and feel like the hero. I wonder if it's the same thing. He started fires and then called... He was called to help extinguish them, describes himself as an adrenaline junkie, and sparked the fires for a rush. What a dick. He was 23 years old. He was a member of the Takapura Volunteer Fire Brigade when he started lighting fires over the course of nearly three years that cost the Department of Conservation $587,000 to extinguish and caused a projected loss in forestry earnings of $1.4 million. What a fucking asshole. Damn. That's awful. He destroyed $1.4 million worth of forest. That's fucking, that's why you don't trust firefighters, guys. Not like it says, don't forget who the real enemy is. <laughs> that is fine. What kind of beer do I drink? Uh, my favorite beer of all time is Yingling. And they have the Yingling bourbon barrel, and I haven't tried that yet. I can't get my hands on it. They sell it out quick as shit. And whoever runs the Yingling Twitter account won't answer any of my DMs. <laughs> A guy I arrested yesterday asked me if he could smoke the rest of his meth before I took him to jail. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Jesus is down here farting. Oh, I thought he shit. That's why I turned around real quick. We're going to run through these and then I got to take him to poo poo. Oh, of course, someone puts this on here. Hey, Donut, we got our roof Korean license. What's taking you so long? 
Why don't you blow me? John Chester, thanks for joining the Donut Scuba Squad. I'm about to have an aneurysm reading these comments. I hate Reddit. Raleigh police officer, wipers with no headlights. Shaking my head. Oh, God, let's read them. Raleigh's not too far from me. Let's get some aneurysms. I guess if accountability was their goal, they'd put vehicle ID numbers on the fender. <laughs> if police keep this up for 15 minutes, we're legally allowed to do whatever we want. Yeah, I see this all the time. You should post on their Facebook and Twitter to remind them. All cops are bastards at following basic traffic instructions. <laughs> And this is where we ask, who is going to police the police? Lord forbid an officer forget to turn his headlights on. It's almost like they're people. I was behind an officer the other day for three turns, none of which he used a turn signal for. <laughs> Go write him a ticket. Jesus. If you're going to join the military police, which branch would you recommend? I don't know, man. Is this a guy that gets bit in his wiener? Oh, it is. You guys seen this video? All right, Jesse. Is there a legal way to get some of the whiskey I made myself to you to try? All right, so... <laughs> It's not because I don't trust you, it's because I don't know you, and I probably wouldn't drink it, if even if you could legally. But you have to understand that from my perspective. Gives him a little, little nip on his nip. Boop. Owie. <laughs> Never ever call the cops for help, period. And if they are called, don't talk to them. Just call a lawyer ASAP. They will complicate and fuck everything up a million times worse than it already is. Their job is to get you in trouble, not help. Oh, no. Hey, everyone. Jeeves is farting up a storm, and it smells like it's fresh off a turd. So I'm going to have to go take him to the potty, which means I'm going to have to get off here. He is a very, very stinky boy right now. It smells like straight dog shit in here because that that f definitely fresh off a turd. It was it was a toot, but if you smelled this toot, you you would know that there is a, a poop behind it, very close behind it. I got to take the Jeeves out. Excuses. All right, all right, everyone. I don't know if I'm jumping on Twitch after this. I'm not sure. Leave us with wine. I, I want to show you something, though. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. If you guys could do me a huge favor. This woman that I really, really, really am fond of. Is over at Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash wineop. W-I-N-E-O-P. If you guys could just go give her a follow. Say hey to her. She's awesome. She's, play she's playing a scary game with a heart monitor on right now. So you can see... You can see her heart rate as she's playing this spoopy spoopy game. So just go get, go give go go tell her hey for me. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash why not. She's a cool lady. So if you guys want to if you guys want to rate her, that would be pretty freaking awesome. There's her. I put it in chat, the link to her to her Twitch in chat. Um, you might see me pop up on on her stream. And if, if I do stream, you'll you'll get the notification if you're subbed to me on Twitch. You can use your Amazon Prime account to link it to your Twitch account and subscribe to me on there for free. And it costs you nothing, but it gives me $2.50 every time you do it. Uh, I have a merch store, DonutOperator.com. I have a Patreon if you're interested in that. Um... Just, you know, all the regular stuff. I, you know, you guys know I don't usually do, I don't do sponsorships. I don't put those long cell phone videos, or cell phone, cell phone game videos into my, into my videos or the advertisements. I don't ever, I don't do honey. I don't do, I don't do all the stuff most YouTubers do. 
So I kind of rely on all that stuff. Anyways, guys, I love you. Had to do the, had to, had to, had to do that. Sorry. Go, go check out Wynop, twitch.tv slash Wynop. Um, I love her. She's awesome. I might be on the night. I don't know. Let me, I'm going to go take Jeeves out, take a shit, see how he feels. Oh, I got a new video coming out soon, by the way. It's going to be, um, I ate Chick-fil-A for the past seven days and, uh, worked out vigorously. I ate 4,000 calories worth of Chick-fil-A a day. And now I'm just, now I'm just talking out my ass. I'm drawing on at this point. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, she does have a mustache as good as me, but, uh, I love you guys. Go check her out. She's awesome. Um, did I read that super chat? I finally made it to a live Leo. <laughs> hey, thanks. Thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Good, good year. Oh yeah, I did say it because of your name. All right. I love you guys. Don't let the, the canines bite like Ajax says. And, um, I don't know if I'm doing a video this weekend. If I find a good one, I really want to do, I might do it, but, um, I'll be streaming maybe sometime soon. I love you guys. Please have a fantastic night.